As of filming this, I am 100 subs away from 1,000, and this is how I'm going to get the last 100. I got nothing. This is Lost Thoughts, episode 12, entitled Dead is Dead. This week, we'll make fun of a few hairstyles, try to play some events in the timeline, and will somebody please get Ben a plunger? Before I get into this episode, I have to address a nagging question on my comments board, the idea that Claire is dead. I believe that she was killed in the mercenary attack on New Otherton in Season 4. Yes, we saw her walk away from that attack, but afterwards, Miles is increasingly interested in her. Why? Oh, that's right. Miles can talk to the dead. That's why he kept looking at Claire and trying to figure out what was wrong with her. His ghost whisperer senses were tingling. My thought is that Claire has become something of what Christian Shepherd has become. She works for the island. Now, yeah, she can appear in the real world like Christian has, but she works primarily for the island in a dead capacity. Now on to the episode. This was a nice, solid Ben episode, and they kept the promise that every time we see the smoke monster, we learn something new about it. We also learn the answers to a few nagging mysteries, and a few theories are debunked supposedly. Hi-ho, Silver! The others are cowboys. No, that was not Kate's horse, but at least we know that horses are on the island. Charles Whitmore has really weird hair back in 1977. Richard said that Jacob wanted it done in terms of Ben being healed. Does saying Jacob wanted it shut everybody up? Like, Jacob said, give me five dollars. If we're seeing Charles Whitmore as the essential leader of the others, where is Eloise? Last week in Whatever Happened Happened, one of the others told Richard that he should talk to Charles or Ellie in referring to whether or not they should save Ben. More on where Eloise is later. Ben is back on the island to answer for what he has done. He is back to be judged by the smoke monster. My question is, who gave the smoke monster authority to judge people? Jacob? Due to a number of clues, a lot of people think that the smoke monster is Cerberus. Here are a couple links that you can find more information at. What if he was already here before we crashed? Ben, I can talk like this too and make it totally obvious that I'm not lying. Why in the world did Ethan not tell Ben in 1988 that he had such a dorky haircut? So many questions about this Danielle Ben scene. Why did Ben take the baby? Did he really know that she was insane? How is Ben working for the others and still with the Dharma Initiative at this point? The baby was taken in that scene in 1988. The purge didn't happen with Ben as a Dharma Initiative member until 1992. But it's kind of cool that Ben told Danielle about the whispers and that Danielle yelled out Alex's name as Ben was taking her and that's why he named her Alex instead of renaming her something else. Ben debunks the theory that Locke killing himself would have been less of a sacrifice for the island. Ben coaxed Locke down from killing himself because he had information that Ben needed and then killed Locke because he thought it would take too long to convince him to kill himself all over again. I'm not sure I really like that reason. Caesar's calling the shots? Who the heck is he? What's this guy's story? And of course, right when I asked that question, shotgun blast to the chest. That didn't sound like a real shotgun blast. Why introduce him and then kill him off so quickly? Locke and Ben are talking about why the others took over the barracks. Now, the thought is that the others took it over because the door to summon the smoke monster was inside one of the houses. The question then becomes, what did Dharma know about this door prior to the 1992 purge? Obviously, they built those houses, and the one house was built around this structure. Color me confused. Did you see the game of Risk that Hurley, Locke, and Sawyer were playing in New Otherton before the mercenaries attacked? That game of Risk eliminates the idea of alternative future. High five me! When Ben saw the picture of the 1977 Dharma Initiative, he claims that he had no idea that they were even in it. Is Ben really telling the truth? Can we trust him? I mean, this was a guy who once said that he was born on the island. Nice way of luck. Knowing that the smoke monster is the judge of people on the island, that tells us something about Mr. Echo. Echo told the Yemi slash smoke monster that he did not ask for forgiveness, and right after that, the smoke monster killed him. 
Can we assume that the smoke monster made a judgment and found Mr. Echo guilty? Locke claims to Sun that he has a way of finding Jin. Does he really? Or is this Locke becoming the manipulator that Ben was? Ben just flushed a toilet? Please tell me I'm not the only one who thought this. So Charles Whitmore had Penny with an outsider? How did he have this relationship with someone off the island? Unless Eloise was the outsider. If Eloise is the outsider, then she was exiled from the island somewhere between 1977 and 1992. Being an outsider just like Juliet when they put that mark on the small of her back. And that would make complete sense because why would Charles Whitmore have a relationship with an outsider unless it was Eloise Hawking? Dead is dead. You don't get to come back from that. Not even here. So the fact that John Locke is walking around this island scares the living hell out of me. Michael Emerson, my favorite actor. Charles, it's Benjamin. So nonchalant. Oh yeah? I'm fine. What's that? Oh right, I'm gonna kill your daughter. How did Locke know where the outer wall of the temple was? Did he get this information when he was in the woods while Ben was summoning the smoke monster? He shot Desmond. That's like bulletproof groceries or something. Okay, Ben hesitated in killing Penny when he saw little Charlie. Why? It was kind of reminiscent of Sawyer's con from season one that he backed out of once the kid walked into the room. But maybe... He hesitated because he figured out that little Charlie Hume is Charles Widmore. Check out my theory. Alana and some others found some guns and they're telling people that they're in charge now? What is this, a dictatorship? What lies in the shadow of the statue? What the heck does that mean? Did she know that question before or after she got to the island? Has the smoke monster gotten to them? When did she become the Riddler? By the way, in case you missed it, here's a screenshot of the picture of Smokey in the hieroglyphics. The smoke monster billowing out of that vent was very eerie. I almost envisioned a scene from that movie, The Mummy, where the scarab started billowing out and ate a man alive. Now Ben has to follow every word of John Locke. The island let him live to do the bidding of Locke? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Message board chatter! A lot of people are trying to piece together the timeline involving Ben and the Purge. Let's review what we know. 1973, young Ben encounters Richard in the forest for the first time, when Richard had the really long hair, which makes no sense because back in 1954, he had really short hair. I don't know. 1977, young Ben is saved by the others from a gunshot wound and quote unquote loses his innocence. 1988, an early 20-something Ben and an 11-year-old Ethan encounter Danielle. Ben and Ethan are working for the others despite the fact that they started in the Dharma Initiative. Ben's mission is to kill Danielle. Instead, he takes the baby for a still unclear reason. 1992, while still working for Dharma, somehow, Ben initiates the purge and the others take over the barracks. Sometime close to post-1992 purge, Charles Widmore is exiled from the island. Question. Regardless of who the outsider is, Eloise Hawking or someone else, where is she? Off-island? If so, how did Charles get to her prior to 1992 if they didn't have the submarine to get on and off the island? Furthermore, Ethan was the other surgeon. Who taught him? Prediction? Jack. Finally, there are some posts as to who is in charge of the island. Jacob is supposedly the ultimate leader and voice of authority. So then where does that put Charles? Or Ben? Or Richard for that matter? All of these comments lead to question of the week. What form of government do the others represent? Democracy, monarchy, dictatorship, whatever. Pick one form of government and then rank the others within it. Next week's episode is entitled Some Like It Hoth. Many comments about that title. First, it's a Miles episode. Dude, there's a body bag with a body in it. Finally, we're going to get to see Miles' backstory after I complained last week. Second, Some Like It Hot was a 1959 movie where two guys pretended to be girls to hide out from Chicago mobsters. Could be a connection to the Losties hiding out as Dharma Initiative members. And finally, the glorious Star Wars reference to the planet Hoth. These guys are geeks just like me. Wait, how can I be a geek? It's not like I post lost recap shows on the internet just for fun. <laughs>